Building dams. Check. Frogs setting lily pads. Check. Woodpeckers wasting their lives. Check. What? How's it going, Woody? Well, it's about two degrees too hot, and I haven't had a nibble all day. Oh, I can take care of that. <laughs> Your file shows over 3,000 infections in the last six months, Woody. You're in grave danger of being replaced in the natural order. Replaced? Yes. I have no choice now but to send you to my Woodland Institute for retraining. So, you're the new kid in school. Did you do your homework? Homework? Who needs homework? Teacher, teacher, the new student doesn't have his homework. But I do. The way you're achieving, Woodrow, perhaps you'll take the place of one particular woodpecker who seems to need more time in school. I don't need more time. I'm ready to get back out there now. Please, Mother Nature, I've learned my lesson. Then you'll have no problem proving that, will you, Woody? Whoever does better in their assignments today will graduate and get the slot. We'll begin with the Woodpecker Basics, Tree Pecking 101. Yeah. Woodrow, buddy, what are you doing? I am merely selecting the straightest, tallest trees to peck. Chapter 79. But schmucks. Listen up, listen good. I'm the voice of experience. You gotta peck so many trees a day out there in the real world. There's only one way a woodpecker can ever get that job done. With the woodpecker's friend. <gasps> it's... it's beautiful. What is it? Look at me, Woody. Woodrow, I think this tree's a winner. Would you shut your eyes on that strapping sapling? <laughs> yep, you're a natural, Woodrow. A natural sap. Thanks so much, Woody. <sighs> Why, Woody, you've done an amazing job on this tree. You get an A. <gasps> oh, my. This could be a keeper. Oh, here's a superb sapling. Woodrow gets an F for goofing off. And the unauthorized use of power tools. F for goofing off? Well, it's down to business with this woodpecker. I'll get an A in advanced food gathering. All it takes is knowledge, strategy, and a pizza parlor that delivers. Oh. to the old pizza tree, Woodrow? <laughs> I don't recall a pizza tree. What are you up to now, Woodpecker? You trying to get me in trouble again? Woodrow, you gotta stop being so suspicious of everything. Do you think Mother Nature would have grown this stuff if she didn't want us to enjoy it? <laughs> I tell you, it's a big, beautiful world out there. I'm just trying to open the pantry door for you. Well... <laughs> you probably want to wash that down with a delicious sod soda. This stuff is delicious. Why didn't we learn about these in school? Uh, I can open up a whole new world of things you'll never learn in books, Woodrow. A <laughs> hundred pounds of wholesome goodness, Mother Nature. You get an A again, Woody. But it appears Woodrow is nowhere near ready for the outside world. Another F. F stands for food. Thank you. I will have some more. All right, you two. For your final exam, use this lumber to build a proper birdhouse. And you must work together. What? Work with him? Teamwork is an essential part of the natural order. You know that, Woody. <sighs> Handle it, Woody. I'm going to catch a few rays. You're helping me, Buster, because if we don't get this done, I'm going to have to stay here forever. I 
I can't be bothered. I already got two Fs. Besides, everything I need is right here. Pizza trees, shod soda, jackhammers. This is your life. I don't care if I ever graduate. It's woodpeckers like you that give the rest of us a bad name, Bob. Because there's nothing wrong with a little hard work once in a while. It builds character. And if there's one thing you lack, mister, it's character. Lazy, good-for-nothing woodpecker. Woody, Woodrow, here I come. Yikes, Mother Nature. Why, Woody, it's... It's breathtaking. No thanks to teacher's pet over there. Yes. Well, I'm afraid Woodrow's going to be staying here at the academy for a while yet. And, uh, what about me? Uh -huh. Yes, good. Well, I can see you're ready to leave. Yippee! I'm gonna graduate! Woohoo! Now get out there and work, 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 Woody. Oh, you bet I will, Mother Nature. I never want to have to go to school with him again. Is he gone? All gone. And you were magnificent. It sure wasn't easy acting lazier than Woody Woodpecker. Whoosh. But it worked like a charm. Now for our next two hard cases. Welcome to the Woodland Institute for Retraining. <laughs> Welcome to TV's favorite game show, Scavenger Rebel! With your host, Junkyard Jim! And now, <laughs> a big junkyard welcome for our first contestant, Woody Woodpecker! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we like your spunk. Now, let's meet your opponent! Ah! Buzz Buzzard! Hey, I'm not playing against that lousy cheater! Who you calling a cheat? Okay, okay, fellas. I see you two already know each other. <laughs> Save it for the game. <laughs> Happy contestants are off buckling into their scavenger rama mobiles because they'll soon be racing around the city solving game clues and collecting scavenger hunt items. And the one who brings back all the items wins these fabulous prizes. May the best junk collector win. Time for your first clue, contestants. It's like taking blank from a baby. Like taking candy from a baby. Thanks for the answer, sap. <laughs> Get away from me, you cheater! Big Baby Daycare Center. The perfect place for finding babies with candy. <gasps> about the big baby part. Go, 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 giggum, lollipop. Hmm? It's time to start you a college fund. How much for your big sucker, you big sucker? to burp. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Clue number two. 
Never judge a blank by its cover. Oh, oh, all that time I had for reading in the joint paid off. You never judge a book by its cover. Hmm, Frankenstein. Poison! <laughs> <laughs> Call of the Wild, one of my favorites. <laughs> hey, who turned out the lights? Wait a minute. He's gone. I'll just take uh, the three musketeers here. Oh, for one. And one for the war. Oh, look, three musketeers, the abridged version. <laughs> So long, Sap. <laughs> the score is tied one to one. And here's your next clue. A blank and his money are soon parted. Huh? What's that mean? I got it. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing heading back to the studio? Let me through! I'm gonna win! You can't win! You never found a last scavenger item! Right okay, okay. Let's say it's a tie. Then we'll split all the prizes 50 50. You know, you're right, Chum. And I'm getting first pick! Oh, oh, I won, I won! Oh, 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 oh it's wonderful! <laughs> All righty then, let's see what items you brought back, Woody. Like taking candy from a baby, never judge a book by its cover. And the final clue? A blank and his money are soon parted? Oh, that's easy. A fool and his money are soon parted, junkyard. Did you bring us back a fool, Woody? I sure did, and there he is. Oh, joy, oh, joy, oh, joy. Woody Woodpecker is today's <laughs> Scavenger Rama champion! <gasps> no! We tied! I didn't lose! That's right. There are no losers on Scavenger Rama, Mr. Buzzard. You win the consolation prize a fun filled day with Anna! <laughs> Oh, boy! You mean a date with the Goyle who points to the fabulous prizes? No, Anna, the junkyard dog! <laughs> no! Stop!
What's your name and where are you from, tourist? Uh, <laughs> uh, what are you, woodpecker? Uh, from out of town. Well, uh, guess what? You're our one billionth customer! And you've just won the ultimate Hollywood star treatment! <laughs> Stand right here like I'm taking your picture, Tweaky. Okay. I'm casing the joint behind you. Just stand still. Ah! Hey! Watch where you're going, you gold bricker! You mean this mansion's mine? Really mine? You'll stay here as part of your prize package. And later this afternoon, you'll even get to take a big time Hollywood screen test. Tweaky old chum, ditch the map. We just found our own shortcut to the stars. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about it. I was born to be a Hollywood star. Good day, chum. Yeah! Buzz Buzzard, resident of Bodyguards by Buzz. <laughs> Maybe I should hire you to protect me from you. What are you doing in my pool, you nut job? Making the point that you, sir, are vulnerable. Vulnerable to what? Well, as Hollywood's hottest new celebrity, you need protection from, say, your uh, perchance, uh, crazed autograph hounds. Crazed autograph hounds? Why, yes. I said crazed autograph hounds. Oh, oh, it's the mansion of that famous new star, Hollywoody the Woodpecker. I am a crazy fan. Let Buzz Buzzard's protection racket, I, I mean service, protect you from this fanatical fan, Mr. Woodpecker. Mr. Woodpecker! Can I have you? Oh! 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 Hey! Uh, who knew being a star was so dangerous? And with my special new celebrity offer, I only charge you per life saving. Okay, okay. But I pay you after I've made it safely through my screen test this afternoon. 
So, those two Hollywood hustlers think I just fell off a turnip truck, do they? We'll see who the real sucker is around here. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Boozard, I'm going outside for my first TV interview. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Woodpecker. You simply can't go out there. The media pretends like they're giving you a nicety nice interview, but they are secretly sending one of their popcorn arazzi types in the back way to dig up your private toy. I feel so, so vulnerable, Mr. Bizarre. Do what you must. Okay, Tweaky. All we gotta do is make like I'm chasing you out. Get back here, you snake in the grass! Stay away! Hide me in all our bitches! Get back here, you, you little vagrant! Time to give these two their big Hollywood break. Camera, action, lights! Oh, my God! That Woody Woodpecker, his first day in Hollywood, and just look at this wild, wild party! He's putting the tinsel back in Tinseltown with his Hollywood bad boy ways. Do it the way I showed you, Tweaky. It's almost time for his screen test and our payday. Oh, well, but I don't know nothing about being an actor, boss. Pardon my interruption, Mr. Woodpecker, but my sources indicate a disgruntled star is planning to sabotage your screen test. He could be lurking anywhere. <gasps> sabotage my screen test? But why? I am Reginald Linsgors, Hollywood's most jealous and fading movie star. And you, sir, are about to become Birdseed. <laughs> Have no fear. Bodyguards by Buzz is here. Ready for your screen test, Mr. Oh! They're, uh, helping me with my screen test. Keep this baby rolling. Oh, 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 Jungle Woody to the rescue. Take one. <laughs> Time to scram. Magnificent stupendous. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I hate scary movies. You were last, Twiggy. He's just acting. He can't ah! stop us. Come on. Oh, yes. They flee. But can they escape? Ah! Ah! I, Woody Blackbelt, will defend my honor. And make you pay for kicking me. Brilliant. Sacco Baffo. Woody, you're gonna be Hollywood's biggest star. Not a money way, you dish rag. Let me out of here. I want to sign you to a seven-year deal worth millions. You'll never stop working in this town. Just come to the studio, and we'll do everything you just did over again, and we'll make it your first motion picture. Woody wins Hollywood! What? Do that all over again? And never stop working? Are you nuts? Forget this star stuff. I'd have to be crazy to work this hard every day. No, come back. My career is in your hands. Think of the fame, the adoring fans, the autograph hounds! <laughs> Who can I make say I love you? <laughs> Another satisfied Valentine's Day customer. I bet you've never had a date on Valentine's Day in your life. Well, I'll bet you never have a date on Valentine's Day no matter how long you live. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I bet I could get a date before you could. Well, I'll bet I can get a date before you. Okay, it's a bet then. You bet it's a bet. 
Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? <laughs> ha! Wait till you see me in my new red Valentine's dress tonight. The only thing I'll be shattering are hearts. Single walrus seeks ideal date. Must be clean, parasite free, whiskers a plus. Ah, come to Papa. Huh? Single woodpecker seeks ideal date. Oh boy, here's my destiny. Hey, hello? Hey, baby, how about you and me going out stepping? Tell me what you look like first. <laughs> oh, you're sweet. <laughs> Fifth and vine at seven. A saucy little bird. Oh, mama. Hey, I'm walking here. Why, you? I'll. Hmm. No good, Lord, dirty please. boy, I guess. Hey, you! I gotta get in there. Hey, I'm naked in here. Ooh. Ah! Oh, bucket, bucket on the floor. Who's the prettiest forevermore? <laughs> Hands on that culprit who... Aha! Help! <laughs> no good hooligans! <laughs> All right, stop it! Both of you! Now who's responsible? <laughs> Oh, never mind. Just hurry up. I have to get ready for my date. So double time and share if you have to, but move it. I don't hear you sharing in there. Share and share alike. Share and share a life. Crazy woodpecker. Ah, smooth, smooth legs. No more flaky ankles. Let's move it, you big lock nut! I'll be done in your stay yiffy for sure. 7.30, on time and looking fine. <gasps> okay, woodpecker. Now I show you once and for all you're not so smart as you think. 
I place this ad so my date will be here before yours. You bet. Oh. Cupid, buddy, give me that a second. Oh. Oh. Mr. Walrus, don't you look dashing? Oh, Minnie, you are as beautiful as a fjord in the summer, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, won't you be my valentine, okie dokie? <laughs> you got no right. <laughs> That'll teach you. Hi, buddy. <laughs> No such thing as magic. Are you sure, Daddy? Yes, I'm sure. Now let me sweep. Well, Daddy, what's holding you up there? Help! Let me down! Help me! Please, Andy, do something! Let me down! Oh, please! All right, Daddy. I'll look at that. Magic mask upon the wall, am I not more powerful than all? Andy Panda has a magic wand and harp. You're playing second fiddle now. You mean he got more magic power than I's got? The mask speaks only the truth. I don't believe it. Well, if you don't believe me, go see for yourself. Okay. Take me to Andy Penn. Now, do you believe in magic, Daddy? No, it's just a, a it's just a twick. Dr. Livingstone, I presume? No, me witch doctor. Who are you? Andy Panda. Me 
got more magic than you. Really? Yeah, really. Okay, boogeyman, watch me. of this magic business. <laughs> he so fixed this magic wand. Guess that's the end of old Alakazam. <laughs> Andy, get me out of here. Do something. Hurry. Mama. Come on, Andy. Get me, Andy. Hurry, Andy. My Swedish petunias to bloom. <laughs> oh, yoinky doinky. My bloomers. <laughs> what do you think you're doing with all that noise and the kerplunking all over the yard? We're trying to make a race car, Wally. For the neighborhood soapbox power derby. A car race? Hmm. Is it for kids only, or can anyone enter? The only rule is the car has to be naturally powered, so you gotta... Yeah, 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 whatever. This is a dream coming true here. Get out of my yard now, you two! Out! What's with him? <laughs> Who cares? Come on, we got work to do. Ooh, all the glory, all the fame of my childhood racing days. Mm. Now I can complete my display with one more first prize ribbon. <laughs> this super slick oil ought to make our racer go fast, Splinter. Yeah, that and a fourth wheel. Mm. Those kids look smarter than I first thought. But Wally Voris knows a trick or two or three or four to get the edge on the competition, you bet. <laughs> Oh, woodpeckers! I have a spare wheel you can have for your little race car. Catch! <laughs> Gee, thanks, Wally. Now, let's just see how fast the competition... <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Oh. 
<laughs> Looks like we've got competition, Nothead. <laughs> you call that competition? Better keep our race car secret secret. Just in case. The greasy wheel is gonna squeak ahead and win the blue ribbon for me, you bad. <laughs> 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 I better get a closer look at what's in that can. <laughs> Swamp Gas should supercharge our racer real good. Hey, Splinter, what's that smell? <laughs> it's too yummy to be Swamp Gas. <laughs> oh, it's Wally's famous Swedish meatball s'mores. He probably left them out there for us. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> yummy. <laughs> It's too dark. I'll just... No! Oh, burn. Nighthead, you think Wally here's trying to sabotage us? Insert tubing A into pipe fitting C. Check. Machine. With Troy Tank Toilet Water Power Booster Capabilities. Shh! It's that Wiener Wally again. Hey, what's the big idea? <laughs> the big idea? Uh, the, the big idea. I tell you the big idea. I am going to win that race, and so I got to know what you got planned for. <gasps> it's beautiful. Double overhead water cans. If it. Get out of our garage, Wally! But I will now build a better one! <laughs> yeah, build this! <laughs> Wally Forrest, one-time Swedish champion. I have come to regain my former glory. On your mark, get set, go! Congratulations, Splinter and Knothead. You are this year's winners. Look out below! Whoa! <laughs> Hiya, buddy. <laughs> I still have no ribbon to fill that last space in my trophy cabinet. <laughs> well, you do now, Wally. Ta da! <laughs> tonight. Upper Crust begs the question, who will be the new It Girl? The brightest star of the new high society season, the new toast of the town. What do you mean I can't be the new It Girl? 
Oh, yeah? Well, I'm gonna prove it. Except I don't know a thing about high society. Wally Swedish Finishing School. High society, here I come! Wally Swedish Finishing School. This is where I start my social climb. Oh, ho, yoy. You got that certain something, you bet. That's it for sure. <laughs> you really think I've got it? Ooh, such grace, such poise. You could become the toast of high society. That is, with my <clears throat> expert instruction. Well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> now, you must learn to speak properly if you want to be part of high society. Uh-huh. Please read this sentence. Jumping Jiminy, why your jewels look just lovely. No, 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 no. Now repeat after me. Jumping Jiminy, why your jewels look just lovely. Jumping Jiminy, why your jewels look just lovely. Ah, no, 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 no. Here, put this in your mouth and try it again. <laughs> Are you sure this is how you speak at a high society ball? By Yingo, that's the lingo. Now say the sentence like all my high society friends would say it. Yumpin Yumini, why your yours look just lovely. Yeah, you've almost got it. Just need a lilt in your voice. Yumpin Yumini, why your yours? Look just lovely. Ooh, you're going to be this year's it girl for sure. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> First impressions are everything. How you enter a room can make or break you in high society. You must walk with purpose, dignity, and grace. Like so. Ooh. People will know you are a refined member of the upper crust. Yeah, sure. All it takes is a little practice on Volley's tire training system. Go now, walk through the tires. Just remember, Vinny, chin down, arms in, and waddle those hips, you bet. Uh, oh. <laughs> Ooh. Keep your arms in, keep your arms in. Hmm. Aha! I got just the thing to help you with those crazy arms. <laughs> yeah, now waddle those hips to the beat. Doinky, arms in, perfect model. You're sure to be a star when you walk into any room like that. <laughs> Table manners make or break you in high society. No, 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 my dear. You must do as everyone does at all the biggest parties. Watch closely. Wait a minute. You're trying to tell me this is how they'll eat at the High Society Ball tonight? Oh, yeah, you bet. With this last bit of training complete, you're sure to be the belle of the ball. Now you try. <laughs> now your training is complete. I have never seen a girl who had it like you have it, Vinnie Woodpecker. Congratulations, you are my star. Now go party with all your hearty. Here it goes. Yumping Yimini, why your yous look just lovely. <gasps> Who will be the new it girl this year? Do you think, eh? <laughs> Was it my posture, or your something I said? <laughs> what did I do wrong? I did everything Wally said to. Wow! <gasps> uh -huh. 
chin down, arms in, and waddle those hips, you bet. It's the best I've ever seen. Ladies and gentlemen, the Walrus High Society Ball has found its new It Girl. Thank you, thank you. Hello, Genie. Look at your paper. You won't believe it. you fellas. Him, and I almost had him when suddenly he got 
punch. And he took my mittens. Oh, my poor, brave little man. We're going right down to the police station and tell them what happened. Why, it's terrible, horrible. Little children aren't safe in their own neighborhood. It's disgraceful. It's outrageous. These running wild, robbing, and beating little children. This city needs a new police chief. You wait until the next election. This city needs a cleanup. Crooks cheating little children, robbing babies. I never heard of such a thing. You better do something and do it fast if you know what's good for you. Why don't you arrest all these crooks? Why, why, why? Calling all cars, calling all cops, calling all the Detectives calling all patrol wagons, emergency broadcast, arrest everybody, bringing all suspicious characters, all loiterers, all bums, all vagrants, all crooks, all loafers, and that ain't all. Get going, that is all. Rose and cut. This one. No. Take a look at this one now. He's not the one. Here's a tough looking one. How about him? He ain't got any friends. Let's say it was him. But he didn't do it. We gotta pick somebody, don't we? of him, make him confess. Come on now, tell, or I'll let you have it. Come clean now, where did you hide those mittens? Come on, where in the world did you hide them? They'll hang him. Todd, I'm giving you just one minute more to confess. And if you don't, it's gonna be just too bad for you. We gotta tell the truth. Cancellation broadcast. It's a mistake. Put everybody back. Put everybody back. Instead of three in Mother Tabby's family, for it pays to tell the truth. 